Hey guys, we're about to talk about the trace root command and what it does and why you'd use it. But first, we need to install that program. So just uh, come along with me, run sudo apt-get install trace root, and it's gonna fetch that from the uh, repositories and it's gonna install it for us. And when it's done, we can run the command. So run trace route, all one word, and then the domain that you want to uh, trace the route to. And it's going to spit out every server that the request jumps from uh, and to in order to get to Google's server. Uh, when you see three asterisks, it means the request has timed out on that server, so it's going to try another one. And there we go. So let me make this a bit bigger so it might be easier to read here. All right. So uh, we can basically trace uh, what servers we are communicating with in order to get to google.com. So when I, um, when I type in google.com into my browser, it doesn't just go from my uh, router the request doesn't get sent automatically right to Google servers. What happens is there's a lot of intermediary servers in between the two, including your ISP, the DNS servers, and then other servers that, that need to be hopped to in order to get to Google. Uh, and so this is what we're seeing here. The first request, uh, it, this is the IP address of my router, and this is the length of time that it took to get there. What happens then is this address uh, is where this goes and and you can see each address as we go down gets a bit different because we're we're going to a different part of the world and the host name will show it's if it's available too with the IP address in uh, brackets so we can see this is my ISP uh, and this is one of the servers that my request has to hop uh, from in order to get the information required to get to google.com so I'm going to try with my own server here. So I'm just going to type uh, trace route uh, pointy bracket dot net. And we can see that it's accessing different servers in order to get to uh, where it needs to be. So in here we can see two interesting things. Uh, first of all, my internet service provider, and second of all, my uh, virtual private server provider. And uh, I'm not going to point those out, but we can see that. And then we can see also everything in between that holds information uh, about the route that our request needs to take in order to get to that server. So that's how you use trace route, and that's why you would is just kind of to you know trace the route of your request uh, to different servers. Uh, so thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys again soon.